what's your name? So, hello, my name is Mark Rosekind. I'm a board member with the National Transportation Safety Board. I'm here to announce our launch of a GO team to Orland, California for an accident that occurred yesterday, April 10th, 2014, at about 5.40 p.m. Uh, before I go any further, uh, on behalf of all the men and women at the NTSB, I will extend our condolences to the families and friends of the victims in this tragic accident. We're going to be launching a team from Washington. Uh, there will be a number of people representing survival factors, operations, fire safety in this particular case. Uh, we also have an investigator from Southern California who's on his way, should be arriving at about 9.30 this morning. Uh, we are still estimating our time of arrival in the California area. When we get there, uh, the two things we're looking at, one, we're going to be investigating the human, the machine, and the environment. And what's critical for us, especially in highway accidents, is for us to collect perishable information, the kind of information that goes away very quickly. Uh, when we get on scene, we'll have much more information to provide you. Uh, and we'll be able to describe, obviously, much more once we get factual information collected from the scene. I can take a few questions at this time if you'd like. Do you have an investigator on the scene now? So the question is whether we have an investigator on the scene now. Our closest regional person is from Southern California. They're expected to be on scene at about 9.30 this morning, California time. And who's the lead investigator? And this investigation, Robert Aceta, is going to be the investigator in charge. He's got uh, oh, about 25 years of highway experience, uh, and he'll be joining us from Washington. And when do you expect him to, to arrive? I guess when you guys arrive. When do you expect to arrive? So the question is when we're going to arrive, and we're actually launching from Washington with the team. We're going to be picking some people up in Texas and then arriving in uh, California. So we'll be there early afternoon probably. So local authorities play a role, and then NTSB investigation is separate, or the, are they linked? So the question is, do local authorities play a role, and how's the NTSB's involvement? This is a really important question because there are over 5 million crashes every year on the highways. Clearly, the NTSB can't investigate every one of those. The local law enforcement is already there doing their job. Uh, we'll be on scene because we're interested in anything from this accident that could have some kind of national impact. Our job at the NTSB is to investigate and determine the probable cause of major transportation accidents. And it's determining the why, not just the what, the description, but the why. And then the most important thing we can do is issue recommendations so these kinds of accidents don't happen again. So what kind of information have you received from local authorities now that will assist in your investigation? So the question is what kind of information we've already received from local authorities. Um, we get some information directly from the California Highway Patrol. We're watching the news like you are. Part of what's critical about our investigation is to literally get on scene and collect our own factual information, hence the urgency to get there as soon as we can because of all the perishable information that could be there. Which, by the way, is everything that could be from the vehicles to people's memories of what happened in the accident. I can take one more. Uh, death toll, injury toll, has it changed? So the question is about uh, people's lives that have been lost and injuries. That we will actually confirm once we're on scene and then give you a source locally of who will be providing that information on a regular basis. Thanks very So we'll provide local information where you'll have a contact to figure all that out. Thanks very much.